Hello everybody, this is Angga Rizky from Indonesia and welcome back to my video. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to design the statistic for the iOS app. So this is a Bitcoin statistic because the Bitcoin lately it's popular for the financial tech. So I want to design the analysis for the Bitcoin. I cannot speak loudly because I have problem with my voice right now so just make sure that you will understand what I'm doing right here well currently we are working with the sketch app so we just need to create the new document and looking for the artboard this is for the iOS so I'm going to use the iPhone SE and change it to the statistic Okay, and then I want to create new rectangle for the background and change the background color to the 34495A like this but it little dark okay and then I want to create the uh, design right here so we can press V on your keyboard and like this okay so we gonna to change this color like this it makes me uh, make me different so maybe we can press V again to your keyboard and create like this again and we can change the color to the same color okay and then press T on your keyboard and get the name it's uh, data statistic okay and the font size it should be 18 no 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 16 okay it's enough 16 and I want to make to the top and the margin top is a 20 like this and copy and paste and go to your plugin icon font and looking for the simple line icon because is the because this is the iOS for the icon it's go back like this and then we can get the margin left it's a 20 and we can copy the icon and pass and move to the right section and go to plugin again and then we can change it for the bell for the notification if we got the notification it's going be right here and we can select all of them and make it to center like this cool and after that press O on your keyboard to create the oval and change the color to the red color with a gradient this uh, this is for the notification but it's too small so i want to increase by 8 pixel okay nice well done and after that we just need to select this data statistic copy and paste and we can edit to maybe bitcoin okay and then change the font size to 32 no 48 yes and then we can change the way to regular but i think it's not b so let him maybe like this and the font size is uh, 46 And we can copy and paste again. Sorry, remove. We can copy the data statistic. 
and you can edit your current Bitcoin wow I have so much Bitcoin to <laughs> oh my god 29,000 <laughs> oh I'm so be rich and change the font size to 14 29,000 my Bitcoin holy shit and then just setting up to the like this oh yeah i'm forget something here with the uh tabs menu so we can copy this, this data statistic copy and paste and we can edit here sorry the margin top is uh, 30 so we can edit here for the today and change the font size to 14 and change the weight to the regular and we want to make it to the center okay and copy and paste and move to the right and margin uh, margin right is 20 and the font size is uh, 12 and the weight is like and we can edit this text to tomorrow maybe prediction okay and I want to change the font size again to 10 and get the opacity to 50 and we can copy this prediction and paste and move to the left and edit to yesterday okay and I want to get the background for the today so we can press U on your keyboard and like this and the radius is a 100 and we can edit the color to the maybe green yes and the today it should be black okay uh, I'm using the 4a 4a and 4a but if you if you love using the white color it's not problem but just make sure we can read this today maybe we can change to the bold ah uh, it's better right now and then just make the graphic chart for our uh, bitcoin statistics so we can group uh, we can make the statistic right here so just press V on your keyboard and we want to make the statistic here uh, what before we make the statistic I wanna to prepare the one space there for our button so maybe we can copy select this layer copy and paste and make it group to the BTN and move to the bottom and one two three four and common key to give the scale layer maybe 200 okay uh, no 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 maybe 100 40, uh, 50 mm, it's still not enough so you can select the rectangle and change the height to 45 and the width it should be 200 and we can make to the center like this and I want to change this button color to the another color will be blue and edit this color to sell my Bitcoin and we want to make it like this and the font says it will be uh, 14 okay so we can sell our Bitcoin right here so I want to make sure that our button is not gradient so we can change to the flat color which is a blue color and then we can zoom and get the shadow here and get the shadow and the Y is uh, 5 and the shadow color it should be blue but you, you need to setting the opacity to, to the top T okay 
very well and set uh, select this text and change to regular uh, no 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 it's better bold okay let's do for the statistics so we can press V on your keyboard and just create like this and like this and like this and like this sorry okay cool so we have the design like this and I want to group this layer to the chart and we can copy and paste and sorry we can copy and common shift V to paste in the place so we can uh, hide the layer with uh, above layer and we, we will work this and remove the border change the field color to the gradient with uh, orange and setting the second color to the white color and setting the opacity to the zero like this and then we can select this uh, orange color and drag to the top like this and drag again and again okay and then we can setting the opacity okay just like this and we can setting this red color like this so you will see the graphic like this but we can setting the path for and then we can setting the border to 5 pixel no 3 pixel and then we can go to layer and pad and seashore and we can cut this pad because we don't need again and we can go to setting to make it like this and you can see the graphic it's smooth right now and the color it should be gradient and we can setting the direction from this to the like this cool but i think we don't need this layer so maybe i want to remove and just like them like this and right now we just need to create the uh, float like a float yes so just press O on your keyboard and create like here it will took around uh, 15 okay and then change the fill color to the gradient which is orange again and then we can get the shadow here and setting the white to 0 and the blur it's uh, 20 uh, we can setting wait 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 okay the blur is 10 and the color is orange like this cool okay and then I want to make this a line here so just press L on your keyboard and you can get the line right here and the color it should be white color and we want to re uh, make this layer below of the plot and then you can press G on your keyboard and sell it for like this Okay, it's like the statistic and then I want to select this layer sorry this uh, gonna be small maybe 12 and select this layer and group this is for the plot and we can copy and paste and we can move here Okay, 
and setting the line height maybe this is a different price so it's around okay and we can copy again and paste to make right here And we want to make this right here. And maybe it's around like this. Okay. And we just need to change this line height. Cool. And select this float and setting the opacity to 50. Because we are focused on this. Uh, on this uh, plot okay so this is the statistic for the Bitcoin and you can design it by yourself if you need the project like a statistic the statistic it's really really cool okay so thank you very much for watching this video so I hope it's useful for you well don't forget to subscribe my youtube Angariski see you